Hi, this is Paul Crow, and we're here on the homepage of Spice Up Your Blog, and we're going to do a quick video and look at our latest post and give you some more tips on our latest post. And that post is how to use images for list bullet points on your blog. And what this is, when you create an, a list and an ordered list, um, you basically get a list of items kind of vertically down the page and on the left hand side there will be like a black dot in an ordered list it will be numbered one two three four five in an unordered list you basically have a black dot and you can style basically this black dot um, which is the best way of calling it i guess um, and what we, what we do in this post is show you how to use an image instead of the black dot quite simple so what i do is i give you the css um basically a couple of versions where you can add your own image i'll show you how it's added above and you can add your own image we can use some of the images that I have here, um, like this green tick and this maroon kind of arrow bullet point. And on the test blog, I have some of these examples done. So you can see down along here we have lists with just images on the left hand side defining each each item. Okay, so I got a couple of emails, a couple of comments basically about um, people not totally understanding the whole list formula. Um, now. I have the test blog here on Blogger. This would work on any blog platform, which would add CSS to a style sheet and then create your list. But let's look, just look at Blogger. And on our test blog, let's just click New Post. And we're going to come into our post editor. And we're in Compose mode. And this is very important that when you are in your post editor, you have Compose mode and Edit HTML mode. And you can toggle between each. So if we were to create an item here, or a list, sorry. I'm going to create a list and basically go item one, go to our next line, skip down, item two, item three, get space in there, and skip down to item four. Okay, so I've just put four items here, and if I wanted to put these into a list, all I have to do is highlight the items, highlight four items like that basically click this here which says bullet list so you can see this little icon here bullet list this will be an ordered list which is a numbered list and this is a bullet list or an unordered list so what we do is click this and four of them have now been placed into a list with the black dot bullet point okay so that's how we create our list really quickly um, and when we go to edit HTML we will see here we get the code UL which is one ordered list and then we have the list tag and close the list tag around each of those. Okay, so what we were what we are doing so is after I show you the CSS here, at the end of the post I have. Okay, when you create an unordered list, this is the code you use, which is the UL as we see in unordered list, your list items, and then the closing tag for your unordered list. And I say that we add class equals image list after the opening UL. So let's simplify that again so in compose mode we've just created our list now we're going to go to edit html we can see our list code here and all we're doing is after we have ul we're putting a space and we're putting on class equals image list and like so and that's it now when we're here in compose it, we will still see the dots until it's actually published we won't actually see the um the actual image as your bullet point but if we click preview we come on here here we can see now we have the actual bullet or the actual images the bullet point so what we have done is we've grabbed the code here the CSS code for whichever one of these image bullet points you want we've added that as shown in the post and when you've gone to your post the editor you've created a list like so clicked edit HTML added class equals image list and then published your post and when your post is published it's come out with your image as the the bullet point okay so i think that should explain it fairly straightforward and fairly simply as to how it's done if you do have any more questions pop them in the comments thanks for watching